Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 28 from Hate's book of chapter 4. Determine the value of K that will result in Vx being equal to 0 in the circuit of figure 4.56. So K is this coefficient here. And I think we will need to use nodal analysis. Okay. Now let's this one. Let's this one as the reference. So our ground here, and the voltage here should be zero. Okay. Now this is minus two from the ground. So the voltage here will be minus two, and this voltage here is K V Y from the ground. So I will have K V Y here. Now let's assume the direction of the current. Okay, I will assume this is going to the left. This is going down. And this is going to the right. This is going down. And this is going to the right. Okay, now let's do KCL at Vx and then KCL at Vy. Now let's do KCL at Vx. KCL at Vx and KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. There is no currents that goes in here, so I will have zero on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I will have this current here, which is Vx minus minus two here divided by the resistance between them. So I will have one here and then plus I'll have Vx minus zero divided also by one and then plus Vx minus Vy and that should be it should be up there. Okay, Vx minus Vy divided by 4, right? So we'll have Vx minus Vy divided by 4. Okay, now let's do some simplification. So here I will have 0 and this one becomes Vx plus 2 divided by 1. So we can get this. And Vx minus 0, that will be Vx. Vx divided by 1, that still be Vx. And we still have that there. So we'll have Vx minus Vy over 4. So maybe we need to get rid of this 4. So just multiply both sides by 4. Okay, multiplying both sides by 4, I will have 0 on the left hand side. And then I will have 4 Vx plus 8 and then plus 4 Vx and the denominator here will cancel out with 4. So we'll have Vx minus Vy. Okay, I will have the coefficient of Vx is 4 plus 4 plus 1. So I will have 9 Vx and then this one should be minus Vy. And plus 8 will equal to 0, right? So, so this is the case. But I think we can move this to the left hand side. So I'll have Vy minus 9 Vx is equal to 8. Maybe let's save this as equation number 1. Okay, now let's work out with another notes, which is Vy. Okay, let's do KVL at Vy. Oh, not KVL. That should be KCL, right? KCL at Vy. The sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, the currents that goes in is this one. So I'll have Vx minus Vy over 4. And then plus 1 ampere here. Oh, that 1 ampere is going out. So that the sign should be equal. 
okay and then plus i will have py there then i will have minus k py over three okay and i want to get rid of the denominator by multiplying both sides by 12. Okay, multiplying both sides by 12 meaning that i will have 3vx here i will have 3vy here that will equal to 12 here and then plus 4vy and then i will have what is it minus 4 minus 4k of vy okay and now let's simplify this a little bit more. Let's move this Vy to the left hand side. So I'll have 3Vx. Now we'll have minus, minus 3 minus 4. That will be minus 7Vy. But here I will have plus 4K Vy. That will equal to 12. Okay. And now I will have 3vx and let's take out the vy here. So I will have plus 4k minus 7 of vy and that will equal to 12. Maybe let's save this as equation number 2. Okay, let's do some math to get to find the value of k. Okay, we want vx to be 0. So let's take this here. So we want vx to be 0. And if vx is 0, that means that from equation number 1, we will have vy is equal to 8 right so vy is equal to 8 and now let's plug this into equation number 2 so we'll have 3 multiplied by vx vx we want it to be 0 and then plus this one will be 4k minus 7 and vy vy will be 8 from here so i'll have 8 and that will equal to 12 and so i will have 8 multiplied by 4k minus 7 is equal to 12 okay now let's continue i will have 32k minus 56 that will equal to 12 okay now i will have 32k is equal to 68 and i will have k is equal to 68 divided by 32 that will be 2.125 2.125 and this is the value of k that will make vx is equal to zero so hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation thank you for watching uh, let me know in the comments if i did make mistakes do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.